Hi, welcome to Maria Beats and Beyond. This is the necklace I designed for the tassel and for the earrings. In this video, I'm just gonna uh, explain to you some changes that I'm gonna make to complete this necklace. If you don't understand the changes I made, if you would like me to make a tutorial on how to make the necklace, you can just leave comments. And in December, this is gonna be my last video. For December, I'm not gonna be posting any, but I'll be back in January and I can make the, the changes that I made for this necklace. I just want to talk a little bit about my 30,000 subscribers. Um, I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a $100 coupon to buy materials or whatever you want to buy on my website, Mariel Bits and Beyond. And also, I'm going to give away this um, bangle that I made. It's the Endless Flower bangle. And I'm thinking about uh, giving away a necklace that I'm, go I'm not going to show at this moment. To make the chain, this chain is made in Cellini. And it's Cellini because it's base of two seed beads. It's one 11 and one 8 And all you do is do peyote with two beads. So you pick up one 11 and one 8. You close your uh, circle and then you want to be exit out of the 11. You pick up one 11, go through the 8, pick up an 8, go through the 11 and step through the no 11. So basically that's what it is the chain. For this beaded bead, for the earrings I just made two 4 millimeters. So for this one, what I did is I pick up a 4 millimeter, pick up 5, come up 3, pick up 3, a, per, a six millimeter and three and go through this seed bead come all the way around go through the pearl pick up seven go through the pearl pick up two pick up your pearl pick up two and you want to be exiting out of the pearl and then you can add your uh, other uh, four pearls right here and then you got out four six millimeter and you grab four um on each side up. Uh, it is the same step for the other one. It's just that we add this six millimeter. And for the um, tassel, it's the other one we make, I just made 10 of these um, fringes. For this one, I made 20. For this one, I use daggers and I really like this one. It really looks beautiful with the daggers. The changes that I made for this one was uh, I made 20 fringes. And then how do you close it is different as well. The way you close it, uh, for, that one, for the earring, uh, we started with 7 boxes of um, right angle whip. For this one, we're going to make 11. And then we are going to close it and you're going to end up in the top with 12 seed beads. So you're going to work peyote the same way we did the other one. So when you're ready to close, you're going to be coming out of this one. You're going to pick up two and sew through two. Pick up two and sew through two. Pick up two and sew through two. All the way around. And then this is going to be the next step. You're going to be exit out of a set of two you are going to pick up one and sew through the two and sew through two more pick up one sew through two through two more pick up one sew through two more and then go through the next two and all the way around until you have your six 11 o's and then you show have this you're just going to reinforce the center at your wire guardian and it's all the same steps that's how i made this necklace so like i said if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make it leave the comments requesting that i make the um, necklace but like i said it's not gonna be ready until january because i'm not posting any videos on december so if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe